What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back with another reaction. We are going to be watching Season 3, Episode 5 of Glee. Uh, we're excited. Last one was a good one. A lot went on. Crazy ending. We had Puck um, kiss Shelby, which is pretty bad. Of course, Puck has been amazing with the baby. All that. Uh, Shelby spelling her heart out. They had that moment. And it was crazy. Uh, and we also had a great end performance from the new character, Rory, who I enjoyed. Uh, I think he had some a nice voice and some really funny interactions, um, especially with uh, Brittany and, of course, Finn being nice to him at the end, and he's joining up with the Glee Squad. But I did like both of his performances we got. We also have the Trouble Tones. Um, I'm going to cause a lot of trouble for everybody. And hit us with the best tones, for sure. Uh, but they were so good on their performance as well, and I'm excited for everything we're going to get there. Um... We also have Bert running against Sue. Huge, huge stuff. Exciting stuff. The full reaction will be over on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube. If you want to check those out, feel free to hit the link and do so. That being said, we're jumping into it. Let's go. You see this face? This is what enlightenment looks like. Great face. It doesn't matter if he's in prison like Gandhi or trapped inside a woman's body like Chaz Bono or stuck in a wheelchair like me. When a man finds his calling, all is right in his world. I discovered my true passion, bossing everyone around. <laughs> yeah, that's a great passion. The key to being a director is having opinions about right, everything. Artie. No. Even stuff you have no idea about. No. It's sad and happy that the musical is just days away. I'm very happy. Very happy. I saw you and I'm already happy. Happened the day you were born, Blaine. And the day we were blessed with that voice. Oh my God! That is how we start it off. Oh. Such a girl. Beautiful. I only notice more teeth. Two black passion. Have either of you two actually? Wow. Okay, I have to go. But those footballs aren't gonna inflate themselves, and I'm either. Perfect. Look, I remember my first time with Brittany. The excitement, the way it made me feel like... What was it like for you guys? Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. I'm so glad that you're my Tony. How do you expect to convey the human experience to an audience when you haven't even opened yourself up to one of humanity's most basic and primal ones? Wow. Brother, it's kind of hard to vote against your brother. I mean, you can't do this with your brother. Can't rush this. What are we doing? Um, so what are we doing? Mm -hmm. What's gotten into you? Um, it's just the Parties, success. I mean, awful. I sold out the April Rose Auditorium for three shows. Criticism. Jacob and Israel's poll have too much for you. It won't be after Friday night. It's Friday night. That is the day that the recruiter from Ohio State is coming. They're looking for a new quarterback. Really? That's amazing. Ohio State better look yeah, elsewhere because Finn. You're not pissed. No, no, of it's course not. Really it's not like it's really happening. You know, our dreams are coming true. It's so happening. Up. Mm. All and, right. Hey, I was thinking, um, Bert and my mom are out canvassing all week, and I have the house to myself. That Maybe might be happening. You come up. I'll be there at six. All day. Yeah, high five. Do you think I'm boring? Are you crazy? You're the single most interesting kid in all of Ohio. I mean, like. Oh wow. You're loving this dance with my playing here. each other's clothes and get dirty. Uh, it's like yeah, but that's why they invented masturbation. Never. Why? Have you just never found the right person? Guy. I like guys. And no, I haven't found him. All right, I'll play. Why There's this one gentleman. This he's beautiful. He makes me feel like a girl, but he's not interested. You're a hell of a coach, coach. For the rest of my chili, there's nothing left but bristle and a few beans, but it eats pretty good. So anyway, that's yes. my type. Not that yes. it matters. Artie is up to trouble on this episode. Get in there, Blaine! Come on. 
There we go. Canvases. so much better with you back in the mix. Is this your triumphant return to Dalton? Please. Anyone will sound better, better Actually, with Blaine. I'm here to invite you guys to my opening night at McKinley. Hey there. Once a warbler, always a warbler, right? Yeah. Blaine yeah. Anderson. Okay. Sebastian. Freshman? Do I look like a freshman? Uh. <laughs> Face. What? So you're who this Blaine guy is, but apparently he sex on a stick and sings like a dream. So, sucks that I miss them. Why did you leave Dalton? Were you bored with all the preppies around here? Or is it that you broke too many hearts to stay? Another one of your own kind, stick to your own True star of the show. Kind. These is where my heart is. A boy like that wants one for only. And when he's done, he'll won. leave you. Wait, Maria, just wait and see. Oh, Santana killed that. Just I have to go. I mean, again, I could really use some more insights from you, Blaine. Or you could use a new attitude. You know, I don't know about you. Warbler. Hey, dude. Uh, I got a question for you. Hey, I dude. I gotta stop doing that. Well, well, I could recommend a brand of condom. Are you cheating on Rachel? Everybody just go to Artie. That's cool, and that's coming from for me. advice. No, I want to use them with Rachel. Oh. About anything. I'm happy for you, dude. And her. Of course, that'd be me, but condoms, no idea. Never used them. It's worked out for me about 99% of the time. That is the best thing to say. Mankins, best eye for talent in the country, if you ask me. Yeah, which is why I spend so much time with you, coach. Hey. I'm not looking for boys to play for the Buckeyes. I'm looking for men. Once again. If you see any of Rachel's campaign posters, so feel free to tear Probably a new down. team. Do you think we're too sheltered as artists? I wish Finn the I'm best. I'm serious. West Side Story is all about it's living we'll in house. Number 87, become CEO of Logo. Of course. Number 63, be on oh, they list. arose the birthplace of Noel Coward. And okay, number five, all right. This one's really embarrassing. I wrote this before I met you. Have relations on a dewy meadow of lilac with Taylor Lautner before he gets fat. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, it's stupid, it's stupid. No, it's like not. Taylor Lautner. What is this, a movie theater or something? You like Coach Beast, right? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. He's the best football coach in the state. Yeah, but do you like her like her? I asked her out about a million times she's not interested. I mean, last week, I told her I had a gift certificate to Applebee's. She's told me fancy restaurants make her nervous. I have a boyfriend. It doesn't bother me if it doesn't bother you. And no, I mean, I, I really Come care. Come on now. Him. He doesn't need to know. I just never want to mess my thing oh, up with him in any way. Shit. He's really great. Who's really great? You? <laughs> We were just talking about you. Sebastian, this is uh, Kurt. Sebastian wasn't saying the nicest just things. Just could live up to the hype. But as it turns out... <laughs> yes, he's even more impressive in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing tomorrow night? Things up. I get you guys a couple of fake IDs, and we head over to Scandals in West Lima. Scandals? Uh, that, that's the game. I know! The last time I was there, oh, I met the man shit. of my dreams on the dance floor. <laughs> Minutes after we met. Come on, guys, live a little. We would love to, Sebastian. Thank you for the offer. That's very nice of you, but... I want to see it. A whole bunch of firsts to start crossing up our list. <laughs> We're in. Oh, shit. Great. Great. It should be a wonderful time. Kurt is watching. Cheers. I brought protection. Me too. Every brought our programs prepared. Why now? And the last time we talked about this is you said you wanted to wait till you right. were a Tony. Any other major award, Emmy, Golden Globe, People's Choice would have gotten you to third base. And who is going to feel more right than you and now? And I love you. Well, then. I just want to make sure this is special enough for you. I've been saving up for a hotel for us. Uh, someplace nice, like a like a Marriott or something. Uh, if we wait a couple of weeks, I could probably... No, I, I can't wait a couple of weeks. I have to get this done before opening night. <laughs> Get this done? 
yeah. awakening if I'm not woken up myself. So you're doing this so you can act better? No. Or no, brilliant when you get into I any performance. You. And so that I can Forget act better. Forget what my business said. Has nothing to do with you, so... When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? That you're doing this school musical? I overheard your mother talk about it on the phone. You yeah, he is. Lied too to angry. And you made a liar out of your mother. Start dancing, maybe we'll calm down a little. I love being a dancer. When I was in high school, I wanted to He's the best at it! But then uh, I had to wake up and realize that I wasn't good enough. You Grow better wake up, up and realize that Artie he is good. The difference between freaking... grown up dreams and kid dreams. He is good I'm enough. Not Mike. Going to be a doctor. Artie. Mike. I will be a professional dancer. I'll pay my own way through college. You will no longer be my son. Then I guess I don't have a dad anymore. Worst dad of all time award. He's nominated. What the hell was that for? His dreams. What are somebody you doing? You? No, I'm this good. Morning? I live big. I'm supposed to dance. Uh, yeah. I got these. Oh. Were you going to a graveyard? No, no, I got them for you. I'm not sick. Dana Shannon, can you just, can you drop the weight? I have something you really wanted to get out and you just couldn't seem to do it? <laughs> I had a, a chigger in my thigh once. It was the size of a Tic Tac. Uh, it's not. I want to take you out on a date. What are talking about? Why are you doing this, Scooter? Somebody put you up to this? Jeez. Love you. Why don't you get that? I'm attracted to you. Because you're the kind of man that could have any pretty girl he pointed at look the way pretty girls look. You're pretty in his eyes. We're good. You're the prettiest in his. So I don't date girls. I yes. just date women. Beautiful women. Beautiful. Like you. Beautiful. After the game. Freaking love that moment. That's why I was doing it. He got really, really hurt. Of course he was hurt. Yeah, that's really bad, Rachel. I know, I know. I feel terrible. And now I realize that I, I was just doing it for all the wrong reasons. I think that you should wait. Speaking from experience, Finn is terrible in bed. See, Tenet, that is not cool. What? If Rachel wants my sloppy second, she should at least know the truth. Look, it was like uh, being same. smothered by a sweaty, breath sack of potatoes that someone soaked in body spray. I lost my virginity at cheerleading camp. He just climbed into my tent. Alien invasion. Okay, well, then I guess it's settled. Obviously, God. things... Losing my virginity was a great experience for me. Because I was with someone I love. Uh, right or wrong, what else can I do? It wasn't rushed. It was amazing. When love My first love. We are being so freaking bonus. That is perfection. Santana right you're killing Chaz Donaldsworth. <laughs> this doesn't even look like me. Don't worry, mine says I'm 38. Don't worry. 38? If that worked. I come right on in. Enjoy. Drag Queen Wednesday. Great. Sure. Lucy Reba. That is. Ginger from Gilgan's Island. Of course. Oh, Reba. I like that guy. It's harmless. It's harmless. A uh, beer for Blaine. Smile could kill somebody. Regular beer, please. Oh my God! So how's life at your new school all the time? People like me here. I feel accepted. That's good. That's I'm good. what they call a bear cub. As long as you're not beating people up, I. I'm all for being whoever you have Fort, to be. No, the most important thing. You're doing that shit. Where's the baby steps? Baby steps. As long as we're stepping. Go get him, Kurt! Baby step, Kurt took a monster! Back. Come on, lay down. Yeah, right, Slightly right. throw up that way. Oh! Okay, alright, 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 Come on, hey, Kurt, let's just do it. I, I, I want you. No. Oh! Grown and all that. But who cares about it? Uh, it's all about us. Right? right, it's about us. Which is why I don't want to do it on a night that you spend half of dancing with another guy. Yelling at me. Because I've never felt less like being intimate with someone, and either you can't tell or you just don't care. If I'm trying to be spontaneous and fun. I think I'm just gonna walk home. Blaine! You know your Maria has disappointed you. I'm still a virgin. 
Andrew Tony has disappointed you. Me too. Look, the audience is smart. The only we sensible can't solution is to just cancel the costumes. The costumes, the staging. You know, I thought if I just pretended like I knew what I was doing, I could lie my way through it. But in five minutes, that curtain is going to go up, and everybody's going to know that I'm a fraud. Are you were brilliant. Really, this show is absolutely Nerves amazing, and that is all thanks to you. Oh, damn. Hey, Artie. Some of the cast needs to talk to you before we go on. And Rachel about to see. Dude, we have a problem. We got Santana. Art, like, we haven't officially thanked nobody will be for let down. everything that you've done for us. Nobody. And if someone's let down from all their voices and this whatever we're about to get here. All of us were so nervous and we didn't oh, well. know. Chair. It's hard to ever feel like you've grown up. Everyone's always doing stuff for you. Guys. The way you trusted me, the way you looked at me and listened to me. It was the first time in my life that I ever felt like a grown man. So, hit me in the feels. So thank you guys. Wow. For the flowers and for everything. All right, show circle. <laughs> Smash it. It's gonna be a little while, so I do. I wish we, I wish we say this to say. Trusting. Ah, trusting with our hearts open. With our arms open. You came with your mouth open. I'm gonna work on this kid's dick. The artistic choice weaving the jets into America, but already insisted. I just hope that people go with it, you know? We're going with it, all right. My heart's devotion. I'll always go with that. So good. Let's have a with more space. Get the terrace apartment. Better get rid of your accent. <laughs> what? Santana, star, Mike. Everybody, great freaking job. Come on. Me and Maria were soulmates. Okay, against all odds, they found each other. I know what that's like. Okay. And you do too. Okay. I thought both of you guys were perfect. Thank you. Your officer Krupke killed, brought the house down. Well, I can't help but pull focus, sorry. Don't apologize, it was great. All your friends are here tonight? No more fighting. Oh, Hold it to your heart. Just like the song? Like the song. Kurt, Sebastian doesn't mean anything to me. I shouldn't be like that. I was drunk and I'm sorry. Well, it sure beats the last time you were drunk and made out with Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> so, blame, stop getting drunk. But I'm sorry too. I forgave our superstar, but try as I might, I'm still just a silly romantic. It's not silly. Wrong with that. Having an after party at Breadsticks, would you accompany me? Breadsticks no. and Blaine? I want to go to your house. I was gonna say no better thing than Breadsticks and Blaine. But going to Blaine. Might be better. It might be. I, I got your flowers. A lot of people showing up in houses. They were beautiful. I know that you're still mad at me about the other night. You didn't like me. What? Who? The recruiter. He watched the game and then I waited like an idiot for 20 minutes while he talked to Shane. Mm. I... Just because your football career ends in high school? It doesn't mean your life does. Damn. Wait, I don't, I don't understand Ouch. what any of this means. It means I suck. Not good enough. I'm not a good, good enough quarterback to get a scholarship. I'm not a good enough singer to get an Iniata. It's all over for me. Stop it. You're special. You know how I know that? Because I'm going to give you something that no one else is ever going to get. God. You don't need to do this. I'm just a girl. Here with a boy that she loves and wanting to remember this moment for the rest of her life. This ring, Ivy wed. Wow. With 
this ring, I be wed. What a freaking episode. We had it guys, season three, episode five of Glee. And it was it was a pretty big one. First times they happened. What an ending. Rachel and Finn. It happened. Blaine and Kurt. It happened. And I think MVP were given to to Blaine and Kurt. I especially love their scenes and the way everything happened here. The ups and downs. Dealing with Sebastian. Them going to the freaking gay bar and Kurt trying to be Blaine's gay bar superstar, as he said. But um, most importantly, loved the apology scene. I mean, the performance happened. Uh, Kurt came to say he was incredible. They both apologized. It was a beautiful freaking moment. Um, and I, I don't know. I just loved it. I love how Blaine apologized for what he did. Kurt even apologized um, and they ended up going to his house and everything happened naturally it was beautiful um, at first Artie of course trying to push it on Rachel and uh, Blaine saying that I mean to have the better performance they gotta have the experience to truly understand and it was complete it was complete crap Artie I'm sorry but it was and then you know of course we have all these ups and downs because of that and Trying to force things and Rachel letting it spell out to Finn in, in that freaking moment. Um, before the stage, she's trying to do it before the show. And Finn realizes. Um, so we did. We had a lot of stuff go on. But, I mean, I did enjoy the way it all happened and how it all ended for sure. Kurt and Blaine. Um, freaking so much good stuff from them. And having to deal with that freaking Sebastian. What a freaking guy he What a guy he was. Uh, he was out. He was open. He was out there. And, I mean, what a blame. I loved how Kurt, man, he tried to step in there, though, after talking to Krowski. Holy crap. Um, that's good. And as Kurt said, I think Kurt said it best. Like, dude, as long as you're not out there beating people up um, and being like that, then we're freaking more than happy for you. Um, it was good. Good to see him there. Good. He's... Um, doing that but uh mike as well that scene with his dad coming in being freaking overly aggressive disowning him for going through with this um saying he should follow his dreams all that um it was terrible and i felt bad for mike for sure looking out to the crowd we did see his mom uh which is beautiful that she's there supporting him but mike is the best the best at what he does and he does it so freaking wonderfully um, and I just wish his dad would, would wake up and realize that Mike is the best and he has the best son. Or not, I mean, not anymore, but whatever. Santana was also great in this episode. Loved her role in the, in this freaking play and all of her performances that she was in was great.